viewers only have one. Well, at least we know this thing is working. Okay. All right, so let's see. Those of you who are in the stream now, can you hear me? Is everything good? So that way I know I'm not muted and I don't sound like an idiot or something. Thank you, Mark, for the response. Now I know that everything is fine. All right, it's... We're just going to wait for a couple more people to get in here, and then we'll get this thing squared away. Oh, no way. I didn't know the bowling clash event was back. Uh, Claudia, what's up, man? I knew for some reason you'd be popping up in here.
Man, this thing sucks. Like, I can share it to Facebook, Twitter, and everything else, but there is no Instagram there. One of the social media platforms that I'm most active on out of all the social medias? Come on. All right, I think I've waited long enough. I think we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, maybe more people will show up along the way. So, all right, let's see here. All right, I think what I'm going to do is actually, we're going to go ahead and get things started on the pro room. Uh, with uh, now that they've added some changes to it, uh, instead of the landmark patterns, it's now going to be the random USB-C oil patterns. And I've tried them, and I can honestly tell you that I suck at them. They're really, really difficult, but that that's a good thing. You know, um, I, 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 I played a couple of games, uh, I played a couple of games against uh, Reister Rooster, that guy is a freaking legend at the game, and even he had, uh, you know, his good games and his bad games, and usually he always has, like, his high games, but, man, he, he struggled hard, but that goes to show you, the, these oil patterns, these USB-C oil patterns, they're crazy. So, all right, I'm going to start things up in five, four... Three, two. God, I hate it when the game does this. Hold up a sec. All right, let's try that again. Well, we got someone. Oh, great. Well, if it isn't Charlie. God, man. I knew for some reason you'd be popping up at some point. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So we got a strike to start things off against Charlie Coleman. He's uh, he's a fellow subscriber for those of you who don't know, and he's got game. I played a couple games against him. Uh, he's been he was able to beat me more times than I was able to beat him. He's crazy. Oh, it's seven. Using the phase two. Leaves the one, three, and I believe that's the nine. All right, picks it up. Oh, that's inward. <laughs> Lucky break. <laughs> oh, brother. Ryan Schultz, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome to the stream, my friend. <laughs> Struggling to use that phase two on this 2004 ABC Nationals pattern. And I'll have you know, this is the first time I'm playing on this pattern. I've never played on this pattern yet. Um, Oh, 
Let's go. Three in a row. How about that? But yeah, um, I played in the Pro Room dozens of times already uh, since they added the new uh, USB-C oil patterns. And I keep getting the Team Championships patterns of 2013 and 2012. And I keep getting the USB-C Masters patterns as well. So... Oh, he got a lucky break. That's another nasty. Oh, yeah, four in a row. <laughs> oh, brother. This is revenge for all those times you beat me, Charlie Coleman. But, you know, I think it's a little too early to be calling it. I mean, it's only the fourth frame going into the fifth. Oh, he gets another lucky break. It looked like a lucky break to me from his end. It probably was a good strike. Bartender, make it five in a row, please. I think I found my favorite pattern out of all the USB-C patterns now. The 2004 ABC Nationals pattern. How's he getting all these lucky breaks, man? Oh, that's a little wide. It came right back, six in a row. I saw that last shot, man. Like, the 7 and the 10 were the last to go. Ooh, right through the nose. Leaves the 6. And you missed it! Come on! Oh, that's so wide. <sighs> Dang it. There goes my run at a perfect game. <sighs> I was lucky to pick that up, I admit. Okay, so I'm looking at the like myself and the stream and all that, and it looks to be running okay compared to like all the other times. Can somebody please, uh, as a small favor, just put down in the chat if the stream is running okay for you? Because, you know, I want to be sure. Back on the strike train. Good game to you, Charlie Coleman. I saw what you put there. Good game to you. You tried. All right, Glenn, thank you for the response. It seems okay, good. I mean, I understand that the webcam, you know, the, the webcam seems a little slow, kind of, not high quality, and that's because it's a very crappy webcam. It's like a Logitech webcam, and it only goes up to 720p, but, you know. I ain't rich. <laughs> Need I say any more? Kai Kimura, how are you, sir? Yeah, Mark and Glenn Appleton, two very well-known players of the game, are in the house. Guys, it's great to see you. Welcome.
So yeah, Mark, Glenn, and Claudia, thank you for letting me know that the stream is going fine. At least now my worries are lessened by a lot. All right, let's close at this 10th frame with a bang. One. God dang it. That's in the gutter. Yeah, I don't care. I won. 265. That's a great way to start off the stream. Didn't expect to do this well at this, like, right out of the gate. Fair play to Charlie Coleman. He tried. And this is revenge for all those times he beat me. The first time I saw him. But uh, to be fair, these patterns, man, they are no joke. So yeah, there you go. 265, 158. That goes to show you, because Charlie Coleman is a good player, guys. I played against him. He uh, the, the first time I played him, uh, we played like 11 games or something, and he beat me in like 80% of them, and he got almost all of them 200 games. And this goes to show you right here, that 158 tells you that these USB-C oil patterns are no joke. I mean, one of the things that I really find to make th that makes this uh these patterns difficult is i swear to god even if it looks like i repeat the same shot it doesn't go like exactly where that last shot went that that struck you know that's what's crazy it's like you got to be perfect and i mean 210 percent perfect with every shot it's really difficult oh dominic strains i remember you it's been a while since i've heard from you but it's good to good to uh I guess, see you in the chat there. Man, I, I have a feeling that these USB-C oil patterns are going to screw up my average. Uh, my average is 177, but uh, I've been trying very, very hard to keep my games at 200 or above. Uh, you can see my average last 10 games is 204. Um, that's, that's terrible because when I, uh, when the pro room had nothing but the landmark patterns, uh, I, my average last 10 games was like 246 and now look how far down it's gone to 204. Getting my average up is going to be tough from here on out. Uh, Mateen Ibrahim, dr drill it pinned above the bridge, CG over. That's what I did with mine. Um, yeah, uh, if, if you know what I mean, I mean, uh, let's see, what video can I, I can't even think of the video. Well, I have plenty of videos that I have, uh, the bowling ball drill pin above the bridge, CG over. Try, try to find them, but, uh, I have the pin above the bridge with the CG over to the right. Um, Jason Belmani always dr drills like most of his bowling balls that way to really get uh, good uh, like the most out of his ball. Try that; it might work for you. Especially because you say you're a high rep player, so. All right, we'll try another one in the pro room. If this thing loads up. Yeah, we'll do this again. Is this thing really going to freeze on me right now? Come on. All right, let's try this again here. Pro room again. Let's see what pattern we're getting.
Storm. And he looks like a pretty good player, especially because all his stats overshadow mine completely. 2008 USBC Senior Masters. I have no idea what to do. Yeah, hi there. I'm just going to take a guess here. All right, lucky break there. Uh, the ball crossed over, so I got to move left, big time. Oh, a little bit of a late tap on the 10, huh? Okay. No way. Come on. It looked like a good ball. Ah, oh, split in a second. All right. Back to back jacks for this guy. Again! <laughs> wow! Back to back splits, the same thing. That's in the gutter. Well, this is a great way to start things off, huh? Second match already, back to back splits. Man, this guy. His average last 10 games was 245. And, oh, he's gone? What the heck? What happened? Part of me wants to believe he suffered that one glitch. Okay, so my, day, my game didn't freeze, so... Did he? Yeah, I think he did. See, it said he disconnected, but now it says... Yeah, I do. Yeah, he froze. But now he's back in it. That's a, that, that hurts. I feel for him there. Ah, light hit. I think I need a better ball for this pattern. I haven't played on this pattern yet. I can tell you that right now. I gotta focus. What am I doing? Three opens. God, I'm the worst player ever. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize this. He's taking a pitch black there. And he just got the great church. Couldn't pick it up. Oh, I froze now? Come on. Lost my frame. Wow. This game can be really strange sometimes. But yeah, I only get one pin for that. And that's another open now. Four opens. That's just perfect. Oh, someone slipped. Well, the same thing happened to him too, I think. Oh, there we go. Wow, another glitch, yo! Mr. Chavez, no, I'm not going to play in the pro room, like, too much. I'm just going to play a couple games. Wow, this game is great, isn't it? Age 47. Oh, okay, so that is you. All right. Well, I appreciate you trying to keep it even and fair. Oh, 
Oh boy. Wow, and I chopped on it. That's another open. This is the worst game ever. Yeah, I hear you, H47. The game usually doesn't freeze that bad. If this kind of thing happens, it only happens for like one frame and then it's gone for a while. Jesus! Another open, I know it. I'm not going to be able to make this. That's in the gutter, yep. What a pathetic attempt I tried to make that spare. Oh, brother. All right. If it's not the game freezing, it's bad breaks. Well, at least we finally got a spare after how long? I think this is the worst game I've ever played in, like, how many months? Why do I even bother trying to use this ball? What is with me? I should have made the ball change a long time ago. Ninety-six. Didn't even get past a hundred. Um. Uh... From the moment, I, Mr. Chavez, from the moment I started, uh, like, getting good at the game, all the way up to now, yes, this is officially the lowest score I've ever bowled. But counting all the times that I sucked, um, yeah, going with all the times that I sucked, this is probably not the lowest, but... <sighs> Yeah, we'll go for a rematch since what happened happened. But, you know, credit to this guy for, like, still, you know, look at that, 203, even though the game messed up. Man, that's really going to bring down my average last 10 games. Going once, going twice, gone. All right, enough of the whole pro room shenaniganry. Uh, anybody want to call it? What do you want? What? Uh, what venue? What would you like to see? Mavina Sal, I appreciate that comment. Appreciate it. A whole lot. You want me to do the invisible room? Man, I hate that one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that one I, I really suck at. That one is the worst. I mean, I can bowl invisible patterns in real life, but I just can't do it in this game, you know?
Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We'll go on the fast track. How's that? That's a pretty good one. That's another place to go if you want to play on random sport patterns. So we'll go ahead and we'll go on the fast track. But you know what? I'm turning off the... Maybe that's probably why. I've been told that like I should turn off the internet on like when I'm playing this game. So that's what we'll do. Because if there's one thing that I have noticed that whenever I'm not playing with Wi-Fi on, the game actually works better. Which is really strange. Cornell Marshall. Welcome to the show. We're playing on Turnpike. Let's see what we do. I don't even know how to play this pattern. Let's try the IQ Tour edition here. Oh, it held, but it went a little high, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to move left. Oh, and he responds. Nice. Using the same ball. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ten pin. What a jerk. Damn, that ball really like hydroplaned its way to the right side, didn't it? Connor Brown, I appreciate that, sir. Get out of here, knife pin. Just like Jason Belmonte does. Wow, or something like that. <laughs> Three in a row for Cornell Marshall. I'm afraid now. I knew I wasn't going to get that. After what happened with the last shot? That's all I can do, guys. And hope for a freaking miracle. Oh, brother, I, I fear that this guy's going to put a perfect game on me. Oh, finally, that was the move. Yeah, Claudia, you like my commentary, huh? Well, you know what they say. I, I don't know what they say, but... I've been told that, like, I'm really good at public speaking, but I refuse to believe that. Believe me, guys, throughout uh, my, my school days, like high school and, and, you know, things like that, I've been told, you know, I should do something that, you know, involves public speaking. Like, I've been told you should be an attorney. I've been told uh, you should be on the radio. Things like that. Because I have, they, they say I have the voice for it. But I don't, I don't feel that I do. Oh, my God. This guy's got six in a row. Meanwhile, 
Here I am with strike, spare, strike, spare, strike, spare, strike, spare. If I get hit with the perfect game already, dude. After I tried to do that in the first match. Oh, yeah. What what if what if I like just pulled one out of Belmo's book? Like he said that like what what if I what if I like just quit out the game before he tries to make the attempt for a perfect game? No, I'm not gonna do that. Ay, get out of here, ten pin. Get in your hole. What are you doing to me, Cornell? Oh, that's way too wide. I knew it. Oh, man, I just can't do it. This turnpike pattern is so weird. <laughs> oh no! Oh man. There's no point, I already lost. But why couldn't that God Well, 209, but that's nothing compared to what Cardinal Marshall is going to do to me right now. Yeah, Brooklyn for the ninth. Oh, no, he didn't do it. Oh, I actually kind of wanted him to do it. Man, that's got to hurt. Oh, well. I can understand the nerves, the pressure. He's on live stream. I don't know if he knows he's on live stream, but what ball is that? That looked like a no rules exist or something. How'd you get it? Well, good game to you, sir. If, if you actually are uh, tuning into the stream, if you're seeing this, Credit to you for nearly getting like a perfect game on Turnpike because that's a pattern you don't see every day. Yeah, Jeffy Jeff, I remember you. Now, I don't mean to trash talk, but aren't you the guy whose butt I kicked on live stream before? Look at this. I'm already like at two strikes. On, on the bowling clash, but I don't care. Like, I've been getting lazy with the whole bowling clash thing. You know, I've already, like, I, as much as I hate to say it, I've kind of lost interest in that. So, oh, Thundercat, yeah, GG, man. At least I know you're Cornell Marshall. Oh, really? Man. It was the no rules exist. Okay, thank you, Rice to Rooster, for that uh, confirmation. Well, at least we got a small little preview to what that ball is. I don't even have it yet. I mean, the developers could have given it to me a long time ago, but I, I'm like, you know, if they would have, I would have been like, no way. Uh, you know, I'll, I will get it on the week that they... They are going to release it, so. I totally forgot, though. I didn't think about that. Yeah, the, the players that won the Axiom Challenge, who got all the Roto Grip balls in the game, I, it didn't occur to me that they would win every bowling ball that hasn't come out yet, too. You know, I thought they would only get the ones that exist now. Uh, hey, that's nice.
Yeah, I, I've been there, and I've done that plenty of times, Thundercat, seriously, or Cornell Marshall, I don't know what to call you. Uh, but hey, it, that, that Brooklyn strike was a clear message that you were supposed to get that perfect game. I mean, that, that, that can't just be a coincidence that you're like en route to a perfect game, and then you get that Brooklyn strike. It's just... I'm going to assume that the pressure got to you. I mean, what other reason is there? Either that, you slipped or something. They got the Hustle AU and the MVP Pro as well. Well, not to show off or anything, but... Uh, yeah. Um, MVP Pearl? And I think the Hustle AU is in here somewhere. Hustle 3TP, Hustle HSB... I don't have the Hustle AU, but yeah. All right. Somebody call it, please. What's the next one? What's the next venue, guys? Somebody call it. Yeah, you may not be on camera, Thundercat, but uh, your game is on live stream. You got some people watching you. You want me to play on Red Square? I hate Red Square. That one makes me want to rip my hair out. I hate the red square. You know what? Screw it. Let, let, yeah, H47 says we should play on the Eiffel Tower. We'll go on the Eiffel Tower in a moment. A lot of people are on that one. 22. Ooh. I hate that one too, but, you know, we'll hit on that one. Why not? It's no red square. All right, I'm clicking on it uh, right now. Ah, we got this guy again. All right, time to get my payback. Ah, oh, wow. I was hoping for a lucky break. Alright, we begin with the nine spare. Dang it. Ah, I knew it. Fever pitch. That's one of the, like, that ball is so overpowered, man. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, I got lucky there. Oh, that could go in the gutter. Oh, never mind. It held. It held. That was lucky. Lately, I've been slipping on my seven pins. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, 10 pin. And that's why I don't really like to use the fever pitch on this pattern because um, it doesn't really hit the pocket. It hits the pocket to the point where you leave 10 pins, you know, like, like you just saw that shot. Oh, that's inward. 6-10. Oh boy. Oh, thank God. All right. It drifted over just enough. I have no confidence when I'm shooting my spares. That's how you know I suck. Uh, Mr. Chavez, I, uh, I'll do the Tower of Pisa next. Don't you worry yourself about that. Oh. 10 pin. Get out of here. Get back in your home. wasn't lucky that was skill mate. that was skill and you know it oh wow nine and ten i saw that they like fell that way and then knocked into each other let's see that again well actually no they did they just went like that Ooh, eight split. What happened? Ouch. What is that, four nine? Poof, not enough. Oh no, that's a bad shot. Damn it. I think I missed that. How do I miss something as easy as that? I just opened the door for him. I really opened the door for him now. Yeah, of course. Torture me some more, why don't you? The bite did good for me on that video that I made, like, what, two days ago? But it doesn't do good for me now. And I could have sworn I was playing on the Eiffel Tower in that video, too. Man. There we go. Hey, you need a drink. I need a drink. I've been talking too much. My throat is freaking dry right now. Damn, that fever pitch is doing him good. Let's go, come on. Oh man, I think um, it's highly likely that I lost this one too. Suddenly I get paired with the top, the top class players. Oh, that's way right. Oh, 10 pin. I hate you so much. There we go. That's the bad shot I was looking for. 
Ah. 210. But it ain't good enough when you get paired against people who are like too good at this game. What did you just do? You better have not done that on purpose, sir. What happened? <laughs> oh, come on. 210, 208? Well, I, I got my payback, but not in the way I would have hoped. Gee whiz, man. What's that about? I'm not going to brag about that one. That was an undeserved victory for me. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're going to be doing the Tower of Pisa in a minute. I would say that maybe the pressure got to you with it, and but pss, pressure in the game on the iPhone, yeah, right. All right, let's go ahead and do Tower of Pisa right now. Oh, not you again. Come on, man. <laughs> You're just getting lucky. All right, screw it. Game on. Let's go. <laughs> he had a Bilbo friend. You got jokes, Reister. This, this right here is a clear message that there are not enough people in the stream. Whatever. Using that no rules exist to pick up the seven the dirty way? That's inward. Shot. Oh, lucky. I gotta learn how to pick up my six tens, man. Ta, of course. That's off. Oh, but it comes right back, man, that face too. Ugh. Yeah, I appreciate that common H47 or Storm or whatever your name is. Yeah, I think the reason why there's not so many people here right now is probably because at the time that I'm doing this, normally I would stream like in the afternoon. And, you know, I would get a, just a little bit more than this, but I think that's probably a, a contributing factor to why. <laughs> Cornell Marshall still ahead by 10 pins. And he keeps up with me. I 
Let's get it! Triple play, cable, internet, and phone. What have you got, Cornell Marshall? He's en route to a ham bone. Oh, come on! He didn't get it. He went way right. Ah, oh, I couldn't pick it up. Oh, not a bad attempt, though. That's inward. Big four. Of course, when I have the chance to run away with it, I don't get it. Just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it, guys. Booyah! Back on the strike train. But I gotta keep striking from here on out, otherwise I let Colonel Marshall run away with it. Oh. I bet you that's a 10 pin, right? You just know! How about you? How about you? Oh, gets back on the strike train. That could be another one. In it to win. This game is going to come down to the wire, folks. Uh, H47, I'm probably just going to stream for like another half hour. So uh, right now it's 627. So I'm going to end this thing at 7 o'clock because... Uh, to tell you the truth, this is just like a test live stream because um, I was, uh, hold on a second. Oh, that's so wide. Damn. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I still might have lost, but damn, that's, that's clutch right there, man. Another split. <laughs> oh man, that was sick. I don't care that I lost. That was a sick pickup. You gotta admit. So anyway, go, uh, finishing up that uh, that uh, what I was saying. Um, yeah. The, uh, oh, another split. Uh, this is just like a test run, just to see, because I, I, obviously, as you can see, I'm in a different setting. This isn't my place, this is my friend's place, and this is his PC that I'm using, which is why... Um, uh, if you guys have... Some of you might have seen it already, some of you might have not, but... Um, oh, I got the win, all right. Um, uh, good game to you, Cornell Marshall, by the way. Seriously, shout out to you for give, making it interesting. Uh, but anyway, um, okay, so... Um, I've tried live streaming in the past, uh, and I've tried doing it on my uh, computer, and it didn't really work out that great. Like, as you guys can see, everything is going great. It's not too laggy. It's not freezing up. It's not choppy. And the reason for that is because I'm at my friend's house on his PC, and that this thing is a freaking monster. It's running things like it's nothing. Uh, he plays GTA V, Call of Duty, and it runs uh, it, uh, his PC. It's able to run these games like it's nothing. And, uh, yeah, I asked him, uh, 
could you possibly let me use your PC to try this out uh, just uh, for a test run? And he said, sure. So that's why I'm here. And yeah, shout out to my homie who's probably, I think he's outside uh, talking to someone right now. But uh, yeah, for letting me uh, use uh, his PC uh, to do this. Otherwise, this wouldn't be going as good as it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, and for those of you who are wondering, this so-called friend of mine who's outside right now, he's going to be joining me on my ball reviews real soon. Uh, so uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah. Uh, were, were you nervous this time, Thundercat? Because you said that last shot was a joke. <laughs> uh, were you nervous this time? Admit it. Don't you lie to me, boy. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, that's why we're doing this here right now. But uh, yeah, so... Um, now that we know that this thing can run smoothly with no problems, because that was my biggest concern. Uh, but no, this thing can handle a live stream, thank God. Uh, so that uh, having said that, uh, that, this live stream basically was just a test run to see how it was going to go because uh, the, uh, the developers of Bowling by Jason Belmonte approached me about trying to do a live stream on their official channel on August 8th, National Bowling Day. So... Um, uh, now that we know that this is going to work, now I must give them the note, the, the heads up, notice that uh, this will work out and that I can do it. So, yeah, for those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, I, I will be doing um, a live stream on uh, the Jason Bom official Bowling by Jason Belmonte channel uh, for them. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing on that is... Uh, uh, if you guys have seen uh, Jason Belmonte himself, uh, he live streamed this, this game as well. And what he used to do is um, he would um, play the game, and anybody who he got paired up against, uh, though that uh, person would have an opportunity to win some kind of prize, like a promo pack or something like that. They are giving me the honor and the privilege to do that for them. So thank you uh, to the developers for allowing me that opportunity. Uh, to be able to do that. I thought only Jason Belmonte himself would be uh, able to do that, but no, they're allowing me to be able to do that on their official channel, and it will happen on August 8th, which is going to be so awesome. August 8th happens to be National Bowling Day, if I haven't said that already, so that that's definitely a great idea. So it's official. I can make that happen. Um, so yeah, some of you will have the chance to win some great uh, promo packs or prizes or whatever it is that they have planned. That's really up to them. I'm just going to play the game, and you guys are going to have to try to beat me so yeah so that now we know that that's going to be able to work uh all all things are a go here so uh let's see here i just hope that the people that i get aren't that damn good at the game but i fear that they are like this is just a small preview of the butt whooping that i'm going to get on august state <laughs> but anyway um yeah we'll go ahead and we'll go for maybe like two more matches three more matches i'm not sure so uh, somebody call it. Uh, what do you What do you guys want me to play? What's the next venue here? Anybody? <clears throat> oh, and going back to the, uh, let's see, Daniel Lim. Yeah, man, let's pair up sometime. Play play a couple of games. I mean, that's gonna be like easy target practice for you. I mean, because I lost every game. I practically lost every single game that I had uh, when I played with you the first time. Uh, Mr. Chavez, uh, I hate red square. Uh, Chicken Itza, I managed to find a good ball, a good lineup, a good, uh, you know, way to line myself up to get uh, high scores on that pattern. Uh, so yeah, I hate ch uh, red square more than Chicken Itza. And I, I think everybody hates red square. Um, and now I think everybody's going to hit the pro room now, even though it, it is challenging, which is good. But uh, let's see, uh, Thundercat, we'll do Statue of Liberty, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, H47 called it first, we'll go to the Pro Room first, we'll go to the Statue of Liberty, and then we'll go to the King of the Week, and then I'm calling it a day, so let's start with the Pro Room first, so that I could flop and make myself look like an idiot, so Marco D. Domenico, I think I've heard of that guy before, we're gonna see what he can do, 2016 USBC Open Championships, Oh, that's that's so bad. Great way to start, huh? Come on. Oh, they fall like dominoes. You want me to showcase that MVP ball? All right. Even though I I really shouldn't. 
Uh, I will. Which one? MVP or MVP Pearl? Which one? You call it, Mark. Hold. Damn it. 3-6. Chocolates. Ay, 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 the skinny jeans fit just right. Yeah, age 47. The pitch black is good on any pattern. Uh, it's it, for, like that. That's part of the reason why I don't use it. It's because it's too easy, and I like to challenge myself. Let's see. We'll, we'll watch. I'll try to see if I could strike with it right here. Oh, wow. Come on, Pitch Black. I'm trying to make a point here. Jesus. Now I'm on. All right. I'll, bring, I'll whip out the MVP Pearl just for you guys. You can pick Mark Zang. Zhang Hai, uh, I, I, I'm butchering your last name there. But yeah, you all can thank Mark for giving me that. I agree, H47. It, it does leave a lot of 10 pins. It, you know, I, but I have gotten a couple of perfect games with that. Uh, but uh, I've only done it on like Big Ben and uh, Great Wall. I've only managed to get the p perfect games with the pitch black on that. Yeah, we'll go again with it. No, man. Come on. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, come on. It leaves nine... It, it kind of leaves nine pins, too. So yeah, the Statue of Liberty will use MVP Pearl, even though I had no idea how to use it on that pattern. And I've, I'll be honest with you guys, I've never used the MVP Pearl. It's just been sitting there. Slipped. Oh, I didn't even see the shot. Come on. There we go. That's the shot I was looking for. So yeah, that, that goes to show you the pitch plank is too easy to use. It's, it's, it's the kind of ball that you want to use to go down and in. I mean, on certain patterns, you will kind of have to arc it and move left a little, but that goes to show you what it does right there. Ah, 10 pin. All right, nice pick up with the 10 pin. Well, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to use Accutor. I mean... Oh, that's not good. Dude, I hate that split. You have to get it perfectly in between that space. Let's get it! How about that? I never get that. Dude, I need a drink. My voice, I, I feel like it's going to go hoarse on me in a moment. Picked up the 9 and the 10. I hate that. And I hate it when it's the, uh, I think it's the, I hate it when it's the 7 and the 8 and the, whatchamacallit, the, the 4 and the, I think the 4 and the 5, I can't remember, but I hate, I hate it when they're like that, the 9 and the 10. I'm gonna try the fever pitch. Oh, it held. I think that's my ball for this pattern right now. Not really a good game. But then again, this pattern. Oh, another split. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, just like literally whisked by it, man. That's another good ball. Literally a repeat. Literally a repeat of that, that previous shot. Right on the line. 
You see, the crazy thing about these USB-C uh, Pro patterns here is that you see how I, I literally got the shot perfectly on the line of my previous shot? Even if you do that, it'll go somewhere else. I've seen it happen so many times. Oh, nice messenger. Oh, that's that's not good. Yeah, I knew it. Whew. All right, we're good here. We are good here. 640, dang. One match can really, really take a lot of time out of your day. Uh, I wonder what this MVP Pearl is going to be like. I know it's probably going to hook more than the MVP because it's Pearl. Uh, but it's definitely in the mid-level category, that's for sure. Oh, uh, you left a goalpost? I'm so sorry, mate. Could that be another? Oh, yeah! Come back. Of course, now? Dang it, man. 198. That stupid split cost me the chance I had a 200 game. Well, Daniel Lim, if you tuned into the stream like some time ago, like I when uh, we just uh, when we started the stream, I picked up the zero gravity and I got like a 265 on the uh, ABC Nationals. It was the 2004 ABC Nationals. I figured it out. And the funny thing is, I never played on that pattern at all. That was li this. Um, uh, on this live stream was literally the first time that I, uh, I think like that I played on this ABC Nationals pattern. Yeah, Aiden Robinson, you need to start getting up on this game, man. You're missing out. It's beautiful. It's so well put together. And it has the potential to be the best bowling game ever. So before we head to the Statue of Liberty, I think is what it was, and then what was it after that? King of the Week. Um, yeah, so we're going to go into the Statue of Liberty pattern, so get yourselves ready for that. But, uh, what, what do you call it? Oh, I, I, I want to talk about another thing. Um, I want to give a huge shout-out to uh, Jeremy Mann and Bill King. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they're actually putting together a league for this game. Uh, even though, like... Um, it's not being put. It's not being added to the game. For those of you who are wondering, no, it's something that they made up themselves, uh, and I, I commend them for doing that. Seriously, like they're trying to get more people involved. They're trying to get the the game uh, to be better than it is, and they're trying to bring it to the attention of the developers that like to show, hey, this is uh, how important it is for you guys to like you know uh, if. This is what could happen if you guys add a league to your game. It'll make it 10 times better. And I so totally agree. I'm on that train with Bill King and Jeremy Mann. So uh, for those of you who are wondering, yes, I have joined up with that league. I will be participating. It's definitely going to be exciting. Uh, I'm still a little confused on how that whole thing is going to get set up, but I, I think it's a fantastic idea. And um, uh, I know the developers, uh, well, I talk with somebody on... Um, uh, like uh, we direct message each other on uh, Instagram. Uh, I, I don't know who it is that I talk with on Instagram, but uh, uh, if if it helps, um, I'll, I'll definitely try what I can for my end to bring that to their attention to put a league into the game because I, I know they have a whole lot to work with. I know it's not easy to keep that, this game going the way it is. Hell, just going through the process of putting a bowling ball into the game is tough. It is hell on earth. Uh, I can't remember the process. Uh, they did tell me about it, and Jason Bomonti is, uh, explained it in a live stream once, but it's hard. So if it's hard to do that, uh, imagine how difficult it would be to implement a league into the game. But, you know, uh, I think they could do it. You know, it's not impossible. Anything is possible. So I'm keeping my finger cr fingers crossed that they could do it. Uh, but uh, I don't know that they know that we're, uh, this is... Uh, th uh, 
these two guys are trying to put this together. Uh, I know they reached out to Belmo and he got the message. Uh, but uh, if there's anything I could do from my end, I could definitely try to bring it to their attention to try to put a league into the game because I think that is a great idea. So especially because, you know, uh, a lot of us are still in quarantine. Like myself, uh, I can't bowl. Um, the lanes are still closed. Uh, California, man, is one of the hot spots right now for COVID-19, which kind of sucks. Meanwhile, there are a lot of people out there who are still uh, fortunate enough to have their lanes open. So, yeah. Claudio Z, good to see you, man. Welcome back, because I have your uh, familiar name. So, let's see. All right, Statue of Liberty, guys. Here we go. We're going to get this going. Oh, wait, almost forgot. I just saw the, the whole MVP pro claim. Hold on. I am sorry, guys. I am sorry. Hold on. MVP, where are you? MVP Pearl, don't hide from me. I think it's a lot further down. Oh, I do have the Hustle AU. I was looking for that ball, so now I know. I had the Hustle AU and the Hustle HSB. I, remember, I think I think Rice the Rooster was the one that brought that up about all the Roto Grip balls. Let me see. Yeah, Hustle HSB, the 3TP, which was already released. Uh, and then something else that wasn't released yet that's in here. But yeah, here's your MVP Pearl right here. I'll go ahead and add that to the thing. But yeah, that's really all I got here. Oh, Soren's Ice Cream, another familiar name. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Welcome. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this MVP Pearl set up here. I, I don't think it's set up yet. Oh, it is! I don't remember using this thing, but... Uh, yeah, it's got power to it. It doesn't have hook. It's got, uh, what is that, 5.5 or 5.5 out of 10, so definitely a mid-level ball, that's for sure. And it's length, somewhat lengthy, I would say. Neuron NXT Core, VTC P19 Pro Reactive, so it's definitely Pro Reactive, we know that now. I don't like bowling balls like this, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and we're going to try it out. We're going to see what we can do with it. I haven't used it so I, on the Statue of Liberty pattern, so I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, here we go. Oh, you again? Dude, you're getting too lucky to, to face me three times. All right. So since this thing is lengthy, we're going to try here. Wow. You always hope for a lucky bounce when you have that 710. But dang, that thing, uh, it just went straight down the lane. <laughs> Already, I don't like it simply because I left that 710. <laughs> the, the, uh, for those who are wondering, I don't like bowling balls with length on them. They're tough to use for me. It doesn't even hook on this pattern. Another bad split. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I expected it to hook a little more than I expected it to, but that just didn't happen. I feel like Mark Zank I feel like Mark just trolled me. I feel like he ex wanted me to pick this ball up, expecting it to do something that I didn't want it to, and now I'm going to struggle.
<laughs> okay. That's probably gonna be the only strike I get in this game. All right, so I think I need to take off that 10 degrees of axis tilt, even though that's hardly going to do a damn thing, but we're going to take that off. And he's, this guy's using the axiom, and he's seven tens too. Take that off. Get that axis tilt out of here. Dude, you got to be perfect with this ball. There's no miss room. Especially on this pattern. Did you see that? My goodness. That's not right. I hate bowling balls like this. But I gotta use it. Well, I don't technically have to use it, but I feel like uh, because Mark made the call for me to use it, I have to. I feel like it's an objective now or something. Or an order. All right, there we go. Three in a row. Cable, internet, and phone. I don't call it a turkey. I call it a triple play. Oh, he strikes. All right. That's a little off. That ah, came right back. Had a little bit of miss room there, I guess. All right, after back-to-back -back splits, we come back with a hand bone. Oh, well, now you know how it rolls, Mark. There you go. Even though I'm not supposed to review, I'm supposed to, I don't know when I'm supposed to review this ball. I don't even know if it was ever released at all, to be totally honest. Ah, almost had it. You should have seen, guys, yesterday I, I, I got paired up with Rice to Rooster, and that that split that, that uh, Storm just tried to make, Rice to Rooster made it like almost every time he left it. It was crazy. He's that damn good. Ah, almost ran out of time, but I just rushed that one. I guess it's that easy to use. I'm making it look good, but it ain't easy. Remember, I suck at this game, man. But hey, if I could do this, it'll be a breeze for a lot of people. What is that, the Optimus? Yeah, that's the Optimus. Oh my god! Crack open that six pack! I still hate bowling balls with length on them. This doesn't this doesn't change my, my opinion on it. This game hates me too, Storm. <laughs> oh my god! It it just holds to the very end. This is so ridiculous. Look at that. I'm surprised I haven't left a 10 pin. Ten pin. Skuhan, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! What is that? Eight in a row? Eight is great. I think you could pick up an easy, perfect game with this thing. So the, for those of you who are wondering, this is what I did with it. 50 degrees of axis rotation, max revs, on two-handed style, no axis tilt, on board 19. Look at that. Look at that! Come on! <laughs> I could have picked up a perfect game if I had figured this out. Yeah, thank you, uh, H47. Another good game. You tried. That's all that matters. You're going to drill and I can work. 
great. Good choice. It's a good ball. It's not a great ball in the game, but it's a great ball in real life. I know. I've gotten great scores with it. Oh, wait a minute! That should have been... If this was real life, that would have... That would have been converted. That's not right. I mean, the pin... The 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 movement of the, the way the pins go sometimes is so not real. Like, that, that pin would have easily just fallen over and taken out that seven. I know it. You guys know it, and I know it. That's just messed up. But 257 with an MVP pearl, guys. That is unbelievable. Uh, had a little bit of miss room, too. So that, that that's definitely what made it a little easy. So uh, there you go. Um, fantastic stuff. Uh, you want me to do a review of the idle pearl in the game? Uh, I would, but, well, I mean... I have a whole lot on my plate, but if if I do like, because like, I've I've gotten so many requests to do other bowling balls, and you know, uh, that ball's not really new anymore. But uh, yeah, Mark, I got that ten bagger with it. Who would have thought, huh? I thought I would flop with it, but I got it. I got it on lockdown, man. Um, I'll I'll think about it. I I can't promise you anything, Lewis, that I could do a review with the Idol Pearl, but. I already did my real life idol, uh, real life review of the Idol Pro, and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But um, Alex the Gamer is telling me to do Red Square or he'll flush my toilet 420 times at 3 a.m. Uh, I, I do not want my water bill to go up. But uh, sorry, buddy, you're kind of late. I mean, somebody already request made like a bunch of requests, so I think the Pro Room, no, King of the Week was the next one. What time is it? 656 we got time maybe for like two more um did i review the hustle in the game which hustle there's like three of them hustle au hustle inc hustle 3tp which one but yeah lewis uh i'm not completely ruling out that i like like the idle pearl here uh i'm, I'm i'll think about it but you know i like a lot of other people in this world i'm a very busy man so I'm not going to completely rule out a review on the Idol Pro. Hustle Inc. I have not done a review on that. And again, I'll, I'll think about that too. I haven't had a whole lot of success with that ball. I have had some success with it in real life, but not in the game. It goes so freaking straight, you have no idea. So we're going to get in titanium in a moment, as it was requested some time ago. I am Groot. Huh, funny. He's going to get the Phase 3 tomorrow. Nice! I personally like the Phase 2, but, you know, Phase 3 is still a good choice. I gotta do a real-life review of that again, because I wasn't satisfied with my first real-life review. My release was really, really bad at the time. But I corrected it, and now... I'm going to review that ball again in real life once the lanes open up. I just hope I get the chance. Alright, I hope everybody is ready. Yeah, Lim, Daniel Lim, uh, our styles are definitely different. Like, I like the mid, the upper mid stuff uh, a lot. Uh I like the upper mid stuff that rolls early. Like, you see, that's the reason why, like, all right. Um, let's see. I'll keep the MVP Pearl in there for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably use it in the titanium pattern here just to show you guys uh, what it can do on that pattern. But, see, I use a pitch black in case I want to play the lane straight. But, uh, to see, the thing about the pitch black is it actually picks up. Like, it actually, like, it goes and then it, you know, it hooks in. And that's what I like about it. And then the fever pitch has that art to it. And it, it holds, and, you know, it it gives you a lot of misroom on a lot of patterns, so it makes it easy to score high. The IQ Tour is a mid-level ball, but it rolls early, and that's what I like about it. Phase 2, also very strong hooking ball, and uh, it's got good power, and uh, it, it, you know, it hooks pretty early, too. Zero Gravity, probably my number one favorite. I uh, think I've got, like, two perfect games with it. Uh, this one definitely, like, hooks pretty early, too. Um... IQ Tour is not really the best ball uh, out there, but uh, for some reason, I, I do pretty well with it on those USB-C Pro patterns. And then the Bite is probably the one and only ball in my arsenal that hooks a lot. 
and is in uh, my arsenal. So I don't like the stuff that hooks really, really, really hard. But, you know, I use all the upper mid stuff. I'm a big fan of the upper mid stuff. That plain and simple. So let's see. H47, you, you like the IQ20 on the code red. Interesting choice. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and let's get to titanium. We'll go ahead and we'll use that MVP pearl for you guys again. All right, here we go. Paul Paulford. <laughs> What is this? Oh, this is titanium, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> Great way to start! What do you got, Paul Paulford? Holy mother of Mary, that can't be real. Using the Omega Crux, I think it's got length to it. How do you have an average last in games 291? Something tells me you've been playing on the pat uh, the patterns where it's only five frames instead of ten. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so you guys pretty much have a general idea of what the MVP Pearl can do. It practically goes straight with a little, little bit of hook on the back end. That's what it does. Alright, I'll see you around, Claudia. Catch you, catch you later. God bless you. Love you so much. Peace! If you're leaving. But... That's bad. Wait a minute. Then he came right back. Wow. Okay, this is starting to become one of my favorites. But I'm not going to add it to my arsenal, though. See, I like that. I went uh, I went right, but it, like, you know, it, it came right back and it didn't overhook. And then when I went on the dark part of the oil, it just stayed there and made it to the pocket. Oh, lucky break. the gamer you want to get a trend huh I haven't tried it yet but I, I, I bet you it's gonna be one of the best things out there man. oh man fought off a split there oh no so that is the mystery of today right there. How do you get a 291 average last 10 games and play like this? What other single pin am I going to leave? All right, so I've got three spares, two strikes. The IQ Tornado Pro is already available in Korea. Well, the IQ Tornado Pro is available to a lot of people already. In fact, I could get my hands on it now if I wanted to, but uh, I've got way too many bowling balls right now, so i got to get rid of some. See, like, the trend, I got it right at the beginning of July. I think I got it on July 2nd. I just didn't bother to say anything to anybody. I wanted to kind of keep it a surprise, but I felt like, eh, I may as well tell people now. Really? Man, that is not the way I wanted to go into the sixth. Jacob Vernier, I appreciate that comment. P 
pizza or burgers? That's the question that Alex the Gamer asks. Both. And you didn't say I can only pick one, so too late. You can't take that back, no. There we go. Freak's sake. I had to make the adjustment. That's what I needed to do. Why am I stupid? Well, you guys all need to get together and ask that question because I feel like if one of us were to go to him and ask, he won't uh, pick up our question. The random skill modeler asks uh, if uh, he thinks, he's wondering if Belmo will switch to the new overseas Belmo snare ball or stick to his old one. I personally think he should stick to his old one. Uh, I know he has a bunch of them stashed at his house. He said it once, but um, it would be nice to see him use the overseas one. Yeah, Alex the Gamer, I don't know, man. I can't decide, honestly. I love them both equally. Don't jump in me. Yes, there we go. We've got to close this thing out with the six bagger. Come on! So yeah, the random skill modeler. Uh, I honestly don't know. The only way we're truly going to find out if he'll switch to the overseas one is if somebody asks him and he sees the question or if we see him in a live stream or a video or something throwing that ball. That's the only way we're going to know. I bet you he probably already got his hands on it for sure. No doubt about it. It would surprise me more if he didn't have the overseas Belmont balls. Go! Come on, let's finish it out. One more. It's a little inward. But it doesn't matter! Six bagger, like I promised. 223. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Jacob, I have no news on the alleys opening up near me yet. Um, the only thing I heard was ex uh, on the day that they closed up again that they were hoping to reopen on the 29th of this month. It's now past the 29th, and nothing has happened, so that sucks. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, what what they were probably trying to say was, like, well, we hope to reopen on the 29th if things get better, and things have not gotten better. Based on what I've seen, things have gotten worse. So, yeah, it's probably going to be a while before they open up again, which kind of sucks because I really want to get back to the lanes. I really want to throw all these new bowling balls. They're just waiting there in my closet. It's like, like, they're, they're, they're sitting in my closet, piled up right there. It's like they're talking to me. It's like they're, throw me, you know, like, like Mr. Krabs and his money. If you've seen that SpongeBob episode where they're like, they start talking to him and they're like, spend us. It's killing me. I really want to throw the Belmo spare ball. I want to throw the trend, the, the axiom. I want to throw them all, man, but I can't. Why did California have to be one of the hotspots for COVID-19, man? It sucks. And you know what? Why can't people just wear the dang mask? It's just a mask. It's not like it's going to do anything to you. It's going to protect you. I mean, it's not 100% foolproof, but come on. It'll help. Yeah. Random scale modeler. Uh, I, I feel you there. I mean, uh, finding an overseas uh, Belmo spare ball that doesn't an uh, uh, cost an arm and a leg. Oh boy, good luck. I mean, uh, luckily uh, a couple of people were able to message me and tell me, hey, I've got a couple of these and I watched your videos. If you want one, I'll set one aside for you. So thank the Lord for those nice people. Uh, Matt and Tyler, if you guys are in here or if you see this, shout out to you again for hooking me up with those Belmo spare balls. And uh, they didn't cost me an arm and a leg, but, you know, uh, to a lot of you, the prices that I had to pay for those, it would, uh, to some of you, it would still be considered an arm and a leg. But if you go on eBay right now, there's a couple of the white and blacks for sale, but Jesus Christ, 
they will cost you a paycheck for just one. It's insane. Dang. I feel for you, Jacob. Uh, I, uh, my lanes, I don't know when they will open it, honestly, because, you know, the cases are rising and a lot of people pick up the virus, like, in, like a handful of people, like, it's insane how many people pick up the virus in one day. I've been watching the news. Uh, yeah, because of that, I have a very good feeling that it's going to be a while before the lanes open up for me here. I'm just hoping for a miracle at this point, honestly. I'm ho I just dream of that one day that they say, we have found the cure. We have the antidote. You know, I'm waiting for that day. I'm a man of culture. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that sounds like. But hey, if that's what it looks like to you, then yeah, I'm a man of culture. <laughs> Have I, uh, have I ever played backup ball off frame? I haven't, no. Uh, I'm scared to do it, even though you guys have seen me do it. Uh, um, if you mean, have I played backup ball in the game? No, I haven't done that. I don't even know how to do that. But have I, if I've done it in real life, uh, no. I'm scared to do it because it kind of hurts a little. I haven't figured it out fully, even though, like I said, you guys have seen me do it. But uh, no, I haven't done it. I might do it, but I don't know. To answer the question about the average, you spent all day at the Great Wall Pattern doing the Clash. That explains a lot. Uh, yeah, that that's an easy way to try to win the Clash, I'll tell you that right now. Um, just go to, like, the um, Big Band, Great Wall, Stonehenge, and just play the five frame games and get the easy wins quicker. Hey, I didn't realize I got these. And I still haven't lost yet. Wow, I got a lot of prizes to claim here. I got way too many coins and tokens now. Oh, I got quite a bit of wins there. That's nice. Let's see what we get in the Belmo slot. But anyway. You know, uh, Alex the Gamer, uh, I saw a video like on, on Instagram or something of somebody uh, who had a breathing problem and tried on like four different masks. Uh, starting from like one like this, for example, you know, like a simple one. And then they, they kept going, they're stepping it up and, and like, uh, eventually they, they tried out that one that like the spray painters use that looked like that, uh, you know, I don't even know what to call it, but, uh, they were able to breathe perfectly fine with it. And I can't remember, it was some girl, but she was basically showing, uh, proving a point that like, um, if I can wear these masks for eight hours a day at my job, with, uh, out having a problem. And she said that she had like a breathing problem too. She has like asthma or something. And she's, she was like, if I can wear these masks that like no problem, then anybody should be able to wear these masks. No problem. Unless of course you do have a serious breathing problem. Then I can understand that. But, uh, Soren's ice cream the lanes are open right now for you. Lucky. But then again, you know what you're saying that that only half the lanes are usable. So Six are open and no oil in lanes. That's lame. I, I still wouldn't go. That sounds like it sucks unless you can get a hookup from the employees and have them oil the lanes or something. Uh, like uh, when the lanes were open the first time, when they reopened them, um, the people, because I'm practically like a, re I'm pretty much a regular there. Everybody knows me. They were like, they always uh, oil the lanes for me and they allow me to use two, even though there's technically a rule out there that says you should only use one. But because I get there when they open or you, uh, usually they don't get a lot of people there, especially now because of COVID-19. So um, they said that like, as long as you come here and there's not a lot of people here, you could use two lanes. And since we know you're always here, we'll oil the lanes for you. So you always have a fresh set of lanes, which is nice of them. So that's, uh, that's cool. Um, I'm with you there, uh, Random Skull Modeler. I, I hate wearing the mask, but I still wear them because, you know, I care about my health and I care about the safety of others and all that stuff. If, if you know, you know, I don't like it, but I do it. You know, I keep my complaints to myself, though. <laughs> Yeah, J Vlogs, um, you see, uh, with my lanes, uh, the, the masks, uh, you have when you're not on the lanes, you have to put the mask on. But when you're down on the lanes, you can take the masks off. That was the rule for us. That was kind of cool. Romeo. 
I've seen you several times. How you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Soren's ice cream with a hookup. Lucky you, you know. If you know somebody who like runs the bowling center, or, like you know, works there and gives you the hookup, you are in some serious luck. Yeah, Thundercat. Like my mask. Like, um, yeah, I feel like it really tugs at the back part of my ears, you know. But you know, I deal with it, you know. Yeah, Soren's ice cream. I, I feel you there, too. Like, I don't have a breathing problem, but, uh, you know, I still sometimes, especially on hot days, find it very difficult to breathe depending on what I'm doing. So... Yeah, Romeo, just be careful, you know, you know, with, uh, you know, when you are with people and you have to wear, you know, you have to take the mask off on the lanes, you know. Even though you don't have to when you're on the lands, it still, you know, never hurts to be careful. You have state championship, J-Vlogs? I'll probably watch that. Like, I don't know when it's going to be on. You'll be on FS1 or Fox. I hope they don't put you on CBS Sports because uh, hardly anybody watches that, you know. What's your name? What's your actual, like, name? I'll probably look out for you. Okay, so your name is so your name is Jaden. All right, I'll I'll I'll, look, I'll be looking out for you, man. I'll check that out if they do put it on TV. That'll definitely be interesting. I just hope I'm not too busy on that day. That's cool. State championship. I wish I could be on TV. But I am not even close to that level of getting on TV. Yeah, thank you for that comment, Jake Logs. I'll try my best to keep this going. Man, you, I feel like you guys can barely see me. It's getting darker out here, for sure. Wow, oh, you you like it when I add the whole bits of commentary in my reviews, huh? Yeah, I I, I got inspiration from that from from, from another guy. Uh, his name I can't remember his name. Um, he he plays a lot of uh, Formula One games, and what he does is he uploads like compilations of him like playing in, in multiplayer, like online, and um, basically what his his content consists of a lot of like dirty drivers, people who don't play the game right, people who keep crashing into him and try to cheat to win. And what he does is um, he adds like um, there's this thing on Formula One where the drivers can chat with the guys in the pit and you could hear uh, what they're saying. And he takes those com those bits of, uh, of commentary from the drivers and he adds them to his game to uh, like and applies it to a certain situation. I drew inspiration from that. I thought like, OK, why don't I take, you know, commentary bits from uh, Rob Stone and Randy Peterson and add them to my videos just to make it, you know, a little bit more funny or entertaining or something, so that's why I did that. I forgot that guy's name. I, I, I'm subscribed to him, I think. I, I don't remember his name, but he, he does a lot of Formula One uh, stuff. Uh, he hasn't uploaded in months, though. Huh, hook it up, random skull modeler. That'd be sick. If you can actually figure out how they do the whole clear polyester Thelma square ball, dude.
The possibilities are endless for you, my man. Maybe you can figure it out. You see, the, to me, the uh, what? But you still got to figure out how they how they make the ball and the the core and everything, uh, because uh, I tell you that Storm Factory, Storm HQ, is like uh, the U.S. Department of Treasury or wherever the hell it is that they make the the dollar bills. Because you see, there are plenty of videos out there that can show you how they make the dollar bills, but they won't tell you like the the those uh, things, uh, they won't tell you the ingredients or the, the those special strips that they add to the dollar bill. They won't tell you how they make it and all that. That's exactly how Storm HQ is. They'll show you how the ball gets made, but they won't tell you the, the ingredients that they use and all the, the there, there's a certain part. Uh, like I saw this video of Lucas Wiseman on flow bowling. He like took a tour of the factory and showed everybody how the Storm bowling balls are made, but there were certain parts that he said, okay, there's this certain section here, but we can't show you what that is because it's secret. So yeah, I'm telling you, that's one thing they have in common. Okay, so we're coming up on two hours of the stream. I guess we'll play one more, and then I'm calling it a day. Um, so call it, guys. What, what do you want? What uh, pattern? Because I've been here long enough. <sighs> Damn, it's almost 7.30. Where did the time go? Doesn't even feel like I've been sitting here for too long. Alright, Alex the Gamer wants me to go on Pro Room. Jacob Vernier wants me to go on Taj Mahal. All right, so since they're the first two to call it, uh, all you in the stream, uh, you have a choice, Pro Room or Taj Mahal. <laughs> J-Vlogs wants me to do all of them. Get out of here, sir. I'll tell you what, maybe on the next live stream I'll run the gauntlet and just do every single one. All right, it seems like Pro Room is winning the vote count. Imagine if I went, like, if, if they still had the landmark patterns in there instead of the whole USB-C Pro patterns, and then I went on it, and I ended up getting Taj Mahal. Ha! <laughs> but that's not going to happen, because we got them uh, USB-C Pro patterns now. God, I hate those patterns, but they are a challenge, and they are a way for me to help me get better at the game. Damn, look at Random Scale Modeler. I think he knows the business here. I mean, he says that the cores are normally made with resin plus barite, iron oxide, limestone, and other powdered materials to add some weight. And then the clear part will be polyester, and uh, you may have to add, like, another material for strength. This guy knows. Shoot. Alright, so J Vlogs, uh, my next stream, now that I know that this uh, runs smoothly with no problems, my next stream is going to be on August 8th. Uh, that's National Bowling Day. I will be on um, the Bowling by Jason Belmonte channel or something. I can't remember yet. I still have to uh, chat with the developers and get that squared away and see what we're going to do. But it will be on August 8th. That will be my next stream. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the pro room right now. So get yourselves ready, guys. Here we go. Three. Two, one. And we got Mariano Duarte. I don't know if that guy's in the stream or not, but we're going to go ahead and play on the 2013 USB-C Masters pattern. Oh, 
Holy Mother of Mary, that MVP Pro just hooked. What in the Holy Mother of Mary? Uh, Romeo, uh, I put 10 degrees of axis tilt and 50 degrees of axis rotation on my bowling balls. Uh, that works for me. Um, really, you just have to find what works for you. I mean, it, you can go ahead and try what I do. Um, I don't know if it'll work for you. I mean, everybody has that, like, certain way of doing things. But for the MVP Pearl that you see me using here, I took off the axis tilt and left it at zero. Okay. Yeah! Dude, I'm loving this MVP Pearl. This is crazy. Dilly the Bowler and a Gamer, how you doing? You came a little late because I'm about to get this thing out of here. Can I repeat this shot again? Oh, I got lucky there. It went a little high. That's okay. You're here, and that's what matters. I mean, at least you get to witness one full game. I just hope that this could turn out to be a good game. What level is this guy? Because he's throwing it pretty slow. Level 48? I think this guy needs to upgrade his speed and strength and everything. I don't think he's done that yet, to be totally honest. Oh, that's wide. Oh, I knew it. Oh, boy. I should have moved right and gone, like, diagonally at it. Uh, Jacob, um, I don't know when the alleys are going to open again, but I have, um, a video coming out at midnight, tonight, uh, revealing everything that I'm going to be reviewing, so be on the lookout for it. Oh, nice pickup of the buckets. What the heck? Oh, I got lucky there. I thought it was going to chop. This is the three six ten. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, all right. So yeah, Jacob, trust me, you are not gonna be disappointed with what you see on that video. It's only like a minute long, but you are not gonna be disappointed, my friend. You are going to like it. It's not like professionally edited or it's just plain and simple but you know you when it comes to like what i'm going to be reviewing oh you are not going to be disappointed dude all right something happened with this dude i don't know if he quit or not That's a little wide. I was hoping for something. Didn't happen. All right, let's get that 10 pin. Uh, 
Jamis Official. I'm using the MVP Pearl. I don't think it's been released in the game yet or not. Um, uh, oh, my opponent quit. Oh, well, I guess we'll finish this out now. Damn it! Come on, man! That's gonna be a low game, for sure. Yep, this is gonna be a low game, for sure. Pick up that spare and move forward. Dude, that is so far away. Clearly, this ball is not meant for this pattern. And I will lift on the round. If you actually, a random skill modeler, if you actually do figure that out, that's okay if you don't put the storm logo on it anyway. Because, yeah, that is, that is trademark. You can't use that. All right, so I think we're going to call it a day here. I went on longer than I, I probably should have, but hey, whatever. I was really starting to enjoy this. So um, it. Uh, what time is it for me? Um, take a look for yourself. 7.32. I know it's a different time for a lot of you out there watching. Yeah, you know me. Black and green are my colors, man. Make the ball black like Belmo, uh, like the Belmo Spare Ball, and then make the logo green or something, you know? <laughs> That'd be cool. That's how I roll. All right, Jacob Vernier is departing. Stay safe, you too, man. Yeah. Um, take care out there. I'll be seeing you on the next one, I guess. And, yeah, I think I'm actually going to call it a day, too, guys. So that was a lot of fun, a, a lot of good games. Uh, I feel like I lost more than I won, but, um. Yeah, um, I guess that's really it, guys. So um, the next step would be, now that I know that this can actually work out, is um, uh, let me see. Yeah, random skill model. Don't give up, man. If you can actually figure that out, I'm going to be so impressed, man. Seriously. But anyway, um... Yeah, uh, now that I know this will work, I will definitely let the developers know that I could definitely do a live stream on the 8th National Bowling Day for them. And uh, yeah, luckily, my friend who's letting me uh, use his PC to do this, um, uh, he's going to show me exactly uh, where I can get this kind of PC. And once I do that, uh, I'll definitely be able to stream this a lot more than usual. So, because um, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this, but... For right now, it's not really going to happen a whole lot because I don't have a PC. All I have is a plain little, plain old little laptop, and that can barely handle the power of a live stream. But uh, anyway, uh, I am going to head out. I'm calling it right here, right now. Uh, I had a whole lot of fun. I appreciate those of you who uh, joined in on the live stream and got the uh, opportunity to play these games with me. Um, 
I hope I'll see you guys on the 8th for the next live stream. Well, if there is one, I can't 100% confirm it yet, but it's highly likely that it will happen. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is the end. I uh, appreciate you guys for coming again. I'm Frank the Tank. I'll catch you guys in another one.